First of all, or to introduce me with the audience, our distinguished research scholar participant, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. My name is Do Hyun Kim. I'm a master's student at Hu Gyeongsang University in Department of Energy and Mechanical Engineering. Today, I would like to talk about my experiment, the title of Tribological Properties of Aluminium Alloys Using Dismagnetron Sputtering. First, let's start with this slide. Speaking of bigger one is image of the aircraft wings and bigger two is image of the bike chaining such as aluminum. <laughs> aluminum help recently increase in the aviation and automobile industry. Aluminum alloys are widely used in space aviation materials and bike training due to their high thermal conductivity and non-magnetic properties. Thus, demand for aluminum alloys has rapidly increased year by year. However, aluminum which has relatively low hardness and strength is easily won. Also, aluminum wear and corrosion resistance remarkable deteriorate and the performance of parts that use aluminum also deteriorate accordingly. <laughs> Next, speaking of figure three, is image of titanium target. This is used for DC magnetron sputtering device. Titanium coating is one way to improve the abrasion res res resistance of a material surface undergoing contact motion. Surface coating technology using a titanium thin film with high strength, corrosion resistance, and excellent mechanical properties are widely used to increase abrasion resistance and protect internal materials from external environment. Table one is chemical composition of the aluminum 7075T7351. This was implemented according to the ASTM B209 standard. Next, speaking of figure four, polishing process of aluminum 7075 disc. This specimen in, in the experiment was manufactured in a disc shape with a diameter of 32 millimeter and thickness of 10 millimeter. Polishing was performed by checking horizontal rubber through the vertical and horizontal rubber matter. Also polishing was performed using 400 grit paper and aluminum powder. Then each specimen was washed at a room temperature for 10 minutes with an ultrasonic cleaner using ATR core to remove impurities after the polishing operation. The average value of the processed material surface roughness was calculated by measuring surface roughness 10 times with a surface roughness matter. As shown in table one, the average value were 0 0.45 and 0 0.25 respectively. Next, speaking of figure six, schematic of the DC magnet transportering process was shown in figure. At this time, the gas atom's kinetic energy increase, and its reactivity and density also increase. Argon ions in the plasma are accelerated towards the cathode via large electronic potential difference, and they collide with the surface of the target. An experiment was first conducted by introducing the electric power intensity of plasma 
and the position time as variable to find optimum condition for abrasion resistance of titanium thin film. Table two was during the deposition, working pressure was set to two times 10 to the power of the minus six torr. Pressure gas was argon, DC power was 100 watt and 300 watt and the position time was 30 minutes and 19 minutes and the deposition conditions were shown in table two. Next, table three shows the position condition according to the working process. The titanium thin film supportory experiment was conducted under two surface roughness condition of polish with 400 grit sandpaper and aluminum powder by setting 100 watt and 300 watt and 30 minutes and 19 minutes for deposition time respectively. Next. Figure 7 was performed using a PD102 type abrasion tester, where test condition of titanium thin film were shown in table 4. The materials used in the test was zirconia bore with a diameter 12.7 mm and a hardness of 1400 Hb. The Experiment was conducted in a boron disk type in which the bore was brought into contact with the sample surface to rotate. As shown in table below, the experimental conditions were performed by setting a rotation speed at 60 RPM. An experiment time of 30 minutes and particle load of 2 neurons. Next, speaking of figure eight, show the aberration tester shape. And the testing device was a PD102 type aberration tester. It is a dry vertical aberration tester that applies pressure from the top while rotating a disc specimen. Figure 9 shows the F5V cell, focused ion beam scanning electron microscope used to observe the specimen. This device observes the cross-section shape after processing the specimen with an ion beam installed an ion gun inside the cell. Depending on a processing metal, it is possible to observe the laminated shape inside the specimen. Speaking of figure 10, it's an image photograph at 20,000 magnification of the shape of the thickness of titanium gene film measured by FIB-SAM. The lower part of the Interface is an aluminum alloy layer, and titanium thin film was located between platinum coating layer and aluminum alloy layer. The thickness of the titanium thin film in figure 10 A was about 0 0.5, the one in B was about 1.6 and the one C was 1.5 and the one D was 4.4. Figure 11 shows a situation when the sample in perpendicular to FIB and then uh, Titanium thin film coating was performed to measure the thin film thickness. A platinum coating was 
applied locally to the specimen surface to prevent damage to the titanium thin film layers surface during FIB processing. After FIB processing, the titanium thin films cross section was observed by treating it at an angle of 55 degrees. Speaking of figure 12 shows cross-section of titanium thin film after FIB processing through EDS. A is a cross-section image before composition analysis. Through EDS mapping analysis, the components were se separately grabbed into titanium layer as in B. An aluminum layer as C and a platinum layer in D. The platinum layer component came from a platinum coating component that was used to prevent surface deep damage for internal processing with an ion beam. Speaking of figure 13, shows a graph of the friction coefficient according to deposition time and applied electric power during the sputtering process. First, A, the friction coefficient of A1 and A2 deposit with 100 watt were higher than those of the base metal, as A3 and A4 deposit with 300 were lower than those of the base metal. Therefore, the apple specimen, which had a thickness with crystalline particles, showed the best friction coefficient. Friction coefficient of specimen B1, B2, B3, and B4 polished with alumina were compared as in figure 13. B. 13 B similar to figures 13 A. Friction coefficient of B1 and B2 deposit with 100 watt showed a similar pattern to those of the base metal. And friction coefficient B3 and B4 deposit with 300 watt showed a relatively linear curve. Unlike the A4 specimen, however, the friction coefficient of the B4 specimen was high from the beginning of the experiment. It is because a thick titanium thin film was deposited on the surface with low surface roughness, which weakened the bonding stress with the base metal. Speaking of figure 14, it's a uh, same image of the microstructure of titanium thin film. As the applied electric power increase, crystal grain size of the titanium thin film increased and microstructure became rough. According to Ingon O, the acceleration of charged electron or argon ion occurs and the energy release after collision with a target increased to an plasma applied electronic power increase. As a result, it increased the mobility of titanium atom on the surface, which in turn roughness the surface. As seen in BC, the Thin film had a similar thickness. However, titanium particles show small and dense grain shape when microscopic surface was observed. Fine particles exhibit critically and their size increased when the upright 
electric power was increased from 100 watt to 300 watt. The titanium thin film particle size was the largest with the deposition time of the 19 minutes and 300 watt applied power as D. According to Yong Jun Jin, crystallization was not seen at low sputtering power of 100 watt for depo de depositioning a uh, titanium thin film and the microstructure properties with 100 watt applied power was amorous. On the other hand, the specimen with 300 watt applied power showed particle hexagonal particle with a uniform distribution. This change in the surface shape was related to the fact that particle size grew as the applied electric power increased. Next, speaking of figure 15, shows the result of same analysis of the wear track formed on titanium thin film surface after the abrasion tester. In figure 15A, the track width of B1 specimen was worst result with 1.43 millimeter. Plenty of debris was formed for the B1 specimen because the thin film whose bonding strength was weakened and filled off by aberration test. This is an ad adhesive wear pattern in which root debris adhere to the wear tracks at around the turning radius. It is a pen phenomenon mainly seen in the wear properties of aluminum materials used as base metal. B, show the wear track of the A4 specimen with the best abrasion resistance. And it was 1.0.79 millimeter in the A4 specimen. The titanium thin film was rude and the width of the wear track was narrow. Such properties display the pattern of grinding wear. Speaking of tag, table five shows the amount of wear, the width of wear track and average friction coefficient for each condition. The abrasion amount of A0 and B0 were 1.67 mg and 1.17 mg, respectively, for the two base metal with different surface roughness, showing a difference of about 0 0.50 mg. It was confirmed that the width of the wear track for B0 was relatively narrow. It may indicate that the lower the surface roughness value of the base metal of which the thin film was not deposited. The better aberration raster was improved after the aberration test. Uh, A1 specimen and A2 processed with 400 gray average average paper showed that the amount of aberration was 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 milligram higher than that of base material. On the other hand, the amount of aberrations of specimen A3 and A4 was almost similar or less than that of base material. It may be related to the difference in 
in abrasion resistance according to shape of the particle. The amount of wearable the B specimen was similar to that of the base metal in most cases. However, the amount of wear B1 was 0 0.96 mg larger than that of base material. It was confirmed that the width the all of the specimen coated, coated with the titanium thin film was formed narrow than that of best material. However, only B1 specimen had a width of the wear track that was broader than that of best material. Also, it is believed that applied power had a significant effect on the improved the abrasion resistance because specimen deposit with 100 watt had a relatively larger wear track width than those deposit with 300 watt. These results show that a post specimen had the best abrasion resistance. Finally, speaking of the conclusion, first, the thickness of the titanium thin film was measured from about 0 0.5 micrometer to 4.4 micrometer. Second, the friction coefficient 100 watt power was higher than that of base material. By contrast, 300 power was lower. So comparing abrasion based matter with different roughness showed that lower the surface roughness value of the base matter on which the thin film was, was not deposited, the better the wear resistance after the abrasion test. Observing the wear track indicated that 100 water part Power was broader than that of specimen deposit with 300 po power, suggesting that applied power has improvement of wear resistance. Thank you.